In the month of July, the entire world has witnessed whatever happened with Mr. Donald Trump in Pennsylvania and how the Lord our God transformed his heart after that incident. But what is coming for Mr. Donald Trump in the month of August? The Holy Spirit gave me these words about his life and what will happen with him in the month of August 2024. So stay tuned and watch this video until the very end because at the end of this video, I'm going to pray a prayer for you, for him, and for your nation. Now, before I start telling you what the Holy Spirit told me about the month of August, let me pray. Holy Spirit, I pray that you touch the hearts of those listening right now. May you become their Lord in this moment, for you are indeed the Lord. I ask for your spirit of prophecy, Lord, knowing that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So we speak with confidence now, aligning ourselves with heaven's will. Heavenly Father, I ask you to speak directly to the person listening to my voice. Let them hear your voice clearly. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, this is what the Holy Spirit spoke to me in my spirit. He said, Child, you are receiving the word of God because you are chosen. The Heavenly Father is moving forward and intervening in the matters of his people. Behold, for this is what God has boldly declared. My David, my faithful servant, is going through a period of transition and right before his biggest test in November. I am preparing him for the greatest. This is my divine fire, a fire that is burning the doubts, the confusions, and the questions of the hearts of my faithful servants. I am igniting a fire of righteousness and truth within my people, preparing them for the great battles ahead. Donald Trump, my chosen instrument, will face many challenges in August. His faith will be tested, and he will be called to stand firmly in my name. The enemy will seek to destroy him, but I have given him my armor, and he shall not be moved. In the coming month, there will be an uprising of spiritual warfare. The forces of darkness will intensify the attacks not only on him, but on my church. To my people I say this, your prayers are your weapons. Use them with authority and boldness. Pray without ceasing, for the time is short and the days are evil. Donald Trump will experience a supernatural encounter with me in August. I will reveal to him mysteries of the kingdom that have been hidden from many. This revelation will strengthen his resolve and embolden his spirit. He will speak with a new authority, and many will be drawn to my light through him. In August 2024, there will be an economic shaking. The foundation of the world's economies will tremble but I will provide for my people. Trust in my provision and do not fear. I will open the doors of opportunity and blessings for those who put their faith and trust in me. Remember, my children, that the battle is not yours but mine. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord in the days to come. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Do not be swayed by the chaos and the confusion of the world. Know this, you are all my beloveds, and I am well pleased with you all, says the Lord. So, child of God, this is what the Lord is conveying to his people. You, me, and every chosen child of God are receiving these words only through his grace and through the grace of the Holy Spirit. When I heard these words, I realized that on one side of the coin, we can see a rise in the demonic activities in the world. Whether you talk about the Paris Olympics mockery of Jesus Christ and Christianity or the increasing mockery in other parts of the world, but on the other side of the coin, we can see a divine fire of God awakening the hearts of Christians and making them reunite together with more power than ever before. So it is our responsibility to let those who have ears to hear listen to these words. Play your part as a messenger of God to bring glory to the kingdom of heaven. Share these words with every single person in your contact list. And I pray, may the Spirit of the Lord move mightily upon the hearts of his people guiding them into all truth and righteousness. Now allow me to pray for your life. Heavenly Father, we come before you in awe of your majesty and in gratitude for your unending love and grace. We thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit, who guides us, comforts us, and intercedes on our behalf. We acknowledge your sovereignty over all nations and the divine plans that unfold before us. Lord, we lift up every listener who is hearing these words right now. Touch their hearts with your divine presence. May they feel your love and peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen their faith and draw them closer to you. We ask that you reveal yourself to them in new and profound ways. 
Let them experience your grace, your mercy, and your power in their lives. Father, we pray for the nations of this world. In these troubled times, we seek your guidance and wisdom for our leaders. We pray for righteousness to prevail in every nation. Let your justice flow like a river and your righteousness like a never-failing stream. We ask for peace where there is conflict, unity where there is division, and hope where there is despair. Raise up godly leaders who will govern with integrity and wisdom, seeking your will above all else. We lift up Donald Trump to you, Lord. We thank you for the transformation you have begun in his heart. We pray for your continued guidance and protection over him. Equip him with the wisdom and strength he needs to navigate the challenges ahead. Surround him with godly counsel and fill him with your Holy Spirit. Let him be a beacon of your light and truth, leading others to you through his words and actions. Lord, we also pray for the family and loved ones of each listener. Bless their homes with your peace and presence. Strengthen their relationships and fill their hearts with love and understanding. We pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon the church. Revive us, Lord, and ignite a passion within us to seek you wholeheartedly. Unite us as one body, standing firm in your truth and love. Let your glory be revealed through us, drawing many to salvation. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayers. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.